guys, this is Apple Gamer 247 I'm here to give you guys a quick Final Cut Pro tutorial today on how to create custom keyboard shortcuts using Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, these shortcuts can be used to simplify editing tasks, such as if you want to record a voiceover, usually you have to go up to the uh, window menu up in the top bar, then you have to select record audio, but if you don't want to do that every time, you can assign a keyboard shortcut on your keyboard to simplify the task and that obviously have to go up to the menu all the time. So first thing that you want to do is obviously open up Final Cut Pro. Then go to the Final Cut Pro menu up in the top menu bar, hit Commands, and then hit Customize. Now this should pop out. Now this is this view is like an editor's keyboard. Uh, usually professional editors have like an overlay on the keyboard with commands that they already created uh, by Final Cut Pro or commands that are already created. They can usually just have like an empty space and they get right in with like a sharpie or something so they remember so they don't always have to go into this menu and do that. Uh, if you don't have one of those, that's fine. Apple Store gives you this. Uh, virtual version which is nice so one of the things that I do a lot in my videos now since I'm recording gameplays a lot is uh, doing a voiceover so that's what we're gonna do today so scroll down the list here to, um, to find something that you want um, it doesn't have to be the specific thing that I'm doing it could be anything so find the um, command that you want to do And mine is record audio. Now, um, now what you have to do is you have to click on it, and then you have to, uh, on the keyboard, pick the commands that you want to do. So I want to do Control Option and then A, and then it's this is gonna pop up. And then you want to say make copy, and then you want to name it something. So I'm gonna say uh, VO for voiceover. Hit OK, and then hit save down at the bottom then hit close now if you wanted to do now let me open up a quick t timeline here this is a future video I'm working on um, what, what you basically have to do is you have to do that same keyboard command and look your um, your window that you signed your uh, command to has popped up so if I wanted to get rid of that this hit the X if I want to do the same keyboard shortcut again it brings up the audio editor so which is nice so I hope this helped you guys out. Um, I know this was kind of like a simple tutorial, but if you have any other tutorials you want me to do, just leave them down below. And I will see you guys in the next video.